Shante Keys and the New Year's Peas by Gail Pranis Davenport and illustrated by Marion Eldridge. Coming to a library near you. Imagine your New Year's tradition is taken over by the lack of peas and you have to find out where in your town you can find the peas. This is what happens to Shante Keys. Her mom and grandmother send her out to see if she can find some peas as she breaks all COVID protocol and asks all of her neighbors where she can find peas or if they have any. She learns all about their traditions and the way they celebrate New Year's. In this fun, multicultural, rhyming story, find out if Shante Keys finally finds her peas and what happens during that New Year's if maybe she doesn't. This book can be good for all grades because it explores different traditions and allows for even the oldest of kids to learn more about others and show that we all belong. It can be used as a good hook for older grades and a basis for a lesson for younger grades. With cross-curricular connections to religion, family life, and even social studies, in religion class, students can learn about the multicultural traditions and their own traditions as they explore the story. I'm sorry to bother you, says Shante Keys. Come join us for dinner so you can try peas. This quote in the book promotes multiculturalism to students because it allows them to see that they don't have to just learn about other traditions, but they can also invite others to their table. We chose this book because it was geared towards younger kids and it gave them a good sense of who they are and who they should be as a person.